Hello. In this final video, I'm going to be going over how to use the unique name system in InfoHazard Core so that you can reference objects across scene boundaries. So I'm going to start by just creating an empty object. I'll call this test unique name object. Then I'm going to give it a unique name using the unique named object script. And to give it a unique name, I cannot just enter a string here. Normal, so you could just find an object by calling gameObject.find and passing in this name here, but that's prone to errors and um, also not the most efficient thing. What you can do instead is use the unique name system, which uses assets for the names, which prevents you from having uh, typing errors if you're like making typos when you're trying to enter them. So um, all unique name assets live in a unique name list. I'm just going to go ahead and create that. That's under create info hazard unique name list. I will call this one, I'll just keep the default name, new unique name list. And go back to my object. And I'm going to create a new unique name for this object. I'm going to click new and click the list you want to create it under. You can have as many or as few unique name lists as you want. Um, that is purely for organizational purposes and has no real bearing on the game itself. So I'm going to use that unique name list I just created. I'll call this one object one unique name. Then uh, you can see that I have that name right in here. I could also organize my objects using slashes. So if I wanted to, um, once again, I'm going to create a new name in the unique name list. I'll call this enemies enemy one. So if I want this to be under an enemies folder, all I have to do is put that slash in the name, and then I will get this little expander in the uh, dropdown. So that is very helpful for organizing your unique names if you have a lot of them in your project, which you may you might. Um, anyway, so um, now to reference the object using this unique name, I'm going to create a new object, um, unique name reference, and put a new script on it. This is called unique name demo. This script doesn't have anything in it yet, so we're going to give it a reference to a unique name. Once again, I don't have to type a string for this. All I have to do is serialize field private unique name list entry name reference. And with that, I now have this unique name selector again here. So I can just say I'm going to select enemies enemy one. I could also create a new name in this one in the referencing script but that's less useful than creating it in the object that's actually using the unique name. Anyway, to retrieve the object that's using that name in the start function, I'm going to say if unique named object dot try get object name reference out game object obj, then we're just going to log that object's name. All right, so now when I run this, if you pay attention to the console, you can see that we are logging test unique name object, which is the object name of this thing. So this thing, this um, unique name reference object was able to find the test unique name object using its unique name. Of course, they're in the same scene right now. So in this simple example, we could use a direct object reference. But these objects could live in different prefabs or in different scenes. And as long as they're loaded at the same time, this reference will still work. So this is basically just a way you can reference an object in another scene without having to um, like type out its name or something else that you could be prone to typos. Um, yeah, and you generally want to avoid having two objects with the same name. If I was to duplicate this, then it would work. It wouldn't give me an error, but this is, of course, only going to find one of them. And we also have 
Well, we have this log error, so um, this is an exception. It's not an exception, but um, it will let you know that you have two objects in the scene that use the same unique name. So, yep, that is it for unique names. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope this library is useful to you.